My job is to show you the endless possibilities that Canva has. Let's jump in and create this motion ad together on Canva. Access www.canva.com and then select a video canvas, the 1920 by 1080 size. Because we're creating a bigger motion ad, we want a dark color behind. Once you've created that, you're going to go to your elements and start lining up your elements. So the easiest side of loading your elements is, is adding text and all of that. So I'm going to fast forward that process because that process you know very well. What I'm sure we want to get to is adding the motion to our ad or the product that we are advertising, which is the burger. Then we're going to go to our elements and we're going to search for fire. Now the important thing we want to get to is start looking for elements that are going to line up our burger. So we're going to go to elements and we're going to search for the burger roll. And we're going to scroll on the burger roll until we find an image, a roll that we could use. I found this one that is two-sided and we're going to edit the photo and then remove the background. We duplicate that. The one we want top, the other one we want bottom. That takes care of our row. So you're going to look for all these elements exactly like we just did for the burger. And we're going to line them up on our canvas to build this burger of ours. So next we're going to look for a lettuce. And then you look for a lettuce and you line all of them up. So to save us time, I went and I starred all of my elements and i found all of them and i added them so you just add them and you line them up our next step and important thing is to find music that's going to go with the ad that you're creating so i thought hip-hop was going to go very well with this ad and i went to mixkit.co and i looked for hip-hop and i downloaded this the music and i added it on canva on my audio so all you do, you upload it on your audio and the song is called Thrill Bit and it's mixed kit. You just click and edit on the audio where your playhead is standing and then you, the music is added on your timeline. And now the fun begins. What I want with this hip hop song, when it's flat, I want the elements to start rising up a little bit and then coming down. So that I'm going to play around with it and tweak it and make sure that I adjust it along and it syncs with this hip hop song. So this took me quite a while. I'm going to adjust it to the upbeat. I'm going to split it right there on my slide. So that when it starts being upbeat, I add a animation and make the burger go bananas. After music was sorted out, I was ready to get to the fun part. Clicking on each element and then animating it. So you select an animation or you select your element and then you just move it around to whichever way that you like and you create a path that you want i wanted chaos at the beginning of the video and then at the end of the video it comes together into a nice burger so don't be afraid to click on the orient as well because it makes the elements go bananas and they swirl around and it was quite fun to create this and have fun with it and let me know in the comments below if you're enjoying these kind of tutorials uh, today we did a burger next week we might do another product so that we learn how to animate and we teach our own selves as well as business owners to create interactive videos for our customers and get sales of course for our last scene we're going to clip the slide so that we have a last scene and on our last page we're going to delete the burger so that we go and we search for a burger that looks exactly like the one that we are creating and that's home and it comes together click on elements and then search for burger 
and then search for a photo that has a burger that looks like the one that we've created. So make it as close to what you're creating as possible so that when the ad runs in the social media platform, clients can't tell that it was made up the way that we make up as designers. Fun. The last thing you would do with the burger that you've just added, you're going to click and select it, click on animate, and then go and search for an animation that breathes in and makes the burger slide out to the design. To make sure that our design looks seamless and it looks effortless, add a transition on all of the pages. So click on transition and select match and move because match and move is going to make sure that on all of the pages, it looks seamless. All you do now is to make the designer happy, which is you. So you check it, you play around, you tweak it, you adjust it, you size it until you are happy with your design. If you enjoy these kinds of tutorials, we've created another create an animation on Canva video that you can go check out. Thank you so much for joining me today. I will see you on the next video. Oh, 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 oh